and I want this Dr. Mossi today I am going to teach you the ECG this is one of the most common teaching station in OSCE exams so basically we will be teaching the student so we need to explain the student what is ECG why blue ECG how it is recorded how the waves form bit about the conduction system of the heart as well how rate is recorded how rhythm is recorded and if there is any other abnormality like ST elevation so what is ECG this is basically recording of electrical activity of the heart. Indications, why would we do ECG? We do ECG to find any abnormality like any problem with the rhythm, any problem with the weight, and if there is any acute coronary syndrome, MI, so all of these abnormalities we can find by doing ECG. Next, how it is recorded? So doctor, it is basically recorded by placing few electrodes, six electrodes on the chest and four on the limbs. Right? So basically it will be 12 read ECG. Next is how waves forms. The electrodes that we place on the skin, they record the signals that are produced by the heart each time it beats. These signals are basically the waves. So now I am going to explain how each wave forms. In exam, you will be provided with ECG sample as well. So we'll be, you will be teaching the student on the sample and also be drawing on the paper for better understanding. I have drawn here on board for you people. So doctors, this is the basic structure of the heart. Right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. In right atrium, there is a structure called SA node. All right. So here from SA node is part initiated, right, and it travel another structure that is AV node. From AV node this part travels through the bundle of his and then to the Purkinje's fiber and to, through the whole of the structure of heart. So this part that is initiated here at SA node it causes the contraction of the atria and this forms the P wave. Alright, contraction of atria forms the P wave. Next doctor, this QRS complex it forms by the contraction of the ventricles and this T waves formed by T wave formed by the relaxation of the ventricle then student must be having a question in his mind that why there is no wave form for the relaxation of the atria so the atrial relaxation is so small for milliseconds that it is masked by the QRS complex alright so this is the basic structure of the heart conduction system and how these waves forms now I am going to explain how to find the rhythm, the rate and the ST elevation in ECG. So doctors, how to find the rhythm first. So you will find the rhythm on the longest lead that is the lead 2. You will simply place the paper, alright, so you will simply place the paper on the ECG, here on the ECG and you will then placing the dots to calculate the distance between the R waves. If distance between two R waves is same, it means the rhythm is regular. Alright? If rhythm is regular doctors, then how to calculate the rate? Uh, if distance between two R waves is same, then rhythm is regular, then how to calculate the rate? Normal rate of heart is 60 to 100. If it is less than 60, this is bradycardia and if it is more than 100, this is tachycardia. Both of these conditions could be normal person and fail and might be there something abnormal going on. So if you find a rate less than 60 or more than 100, you early you should inform your senior. Next doctor, how to calculate the rate if rhythm is regular? Simple calculate the number of big boxes between two R waves. Alright, calculate the number of big boxes between two R waves and then 300 divided by number of big boxes. Suppose if number of big boxes between two R waves in this ECG is 4 then you will divide 300 divided by 4 that is 75 and if number of big boxes is 3 between two R waves divide 300 by 3 and it is 100 so rate is 100 here so this is how to calculate the rate if the rhythm is regular so next doctors if rhythm is irregular simply when you place in the paper and distance between two R waves not same, it means rhythm is irregular and this could be an emergency as well. There might be something abnormal going on, this serious. So you need to inform your senior patient might need an emergency treatment. Why? So if rhythm is irregular, then how to calculate the rate? You need to count 
30 big boxes right count 30 big boxes 1 2 3 4 5 up to 30 and then count the number of r waves in between 30 big boxes 30 big boxes if rhythm is irregular and calculate the number of r waves and then multiply them by 10 so if in this ecg after calculating the 30 big boxes the number of r waves are 8 multiplied by 10 so it is 80 and if it is 7 it is 70 it depends how many uh, r waves you are going to find in 30 big boxes this is how to calculate the rate if rhythm is irregular and last thing is st elevation so if somebody presents to with to you with any chest pain that is related to the arm to the jaw shortness of breath and sweating which might be having some history of hypertension or diabetes and you find st elevation like this like s and d has been elevated from the baseline it is here on this ecg as well so this is acute emergency patient might be having myocardial infarction you need to inform your senior patient might need emergency treatment all right so this is all from the ecg all right thank you so much Bye.